Morning. A friend of mine was asking me what he should call his business the other day. Now he works in kitchens and he was wanting to know whether he should uh, call his business uh, around the geography plus what it is that he does, i.e. Watford Kitchens, um, or whether he should name it after himself and the fact that he does kitchens, um, himself establishing himself as a little bit of a personality. And I said, well, it's very much what you want to do with your business, whether you want your business to be a saleable asset or you want the business to stand alone as its own individual brand. Now I'm talking for most of us normal sized business owners here, whereby the fundamental uh, thing that we want people to be able to do is to find our business and find out what we do. So for example, if um, I had a kitchen company in Surrey, for example, um, having Guildford Kitchens on the front of it, if I typed Guildford Kitchens into the um, Google strip, then the likelihood is, is that Guildford Kitchens is exactly what would come up. Now, there are areas where, of course, that would be limiting because I may want to do Cranley Kitchens or Hazelmere Kitchens or Surrey Kitchens or indeed London Kitchens, um, or it might make me look a little bit sort of parochial, a little bit too kind of local. But what it would do would be drive business to the website because people would be effectively searching that. Um, is it uh, uh, glamorous in terms of a um, trade name? Not necessarily. So that is a business with those kind of smaller limited ambitions. Now if you've got all the money in the world then you can establish a brand like an Apple or a Virgin um, or indeed something like an Uber um, and there's a lot to be said about having those very cool one name massive brand um, symbols that you can then add all sorts of different businesses to. But I guess it's just a matter of whether you're establishing a brand or if you're establishing something that will lead to leads effectively being generated via your kind of website. Um, in terms of personalizing your brand, I think it's extremely naff and very Americanized. Um, there's quite a lot of people that have such and such a name and their business kind of title. Um, but whilst once upon a time I think people deemed it to be personalized, I think now it potentially looks a little bit kind of parochial or it's a little bit of an ego trip in terms of the people that are involved in that, in that they want to be the personification of their business and it doesn't necessarily stand alone without them. So again, if you wanted to make a saleable asset um, that wasn't so tied up into something that you were doing, then you'd have to create a business that is detached from your own. So in summary, um, if you've got loads of money, then great, create a brand with a one name fancy thing and, and drive people to look for that brand. If you're looking to generate leads with your business, then where you are and what you do is a really good place to start. Hope that helps in terms of your naming of your new companies. Take care.